everybody. Welcome to Faith at Home. My name is Leah. And today I'm going to put my offering in my... It's a different offering box. Look at this. It's shaped like a pig. You may have gotten one of these if you got a faith formation kit. If you didn't, that's okay. I'm going to put mine in there. I'm saving up $30 because $30 could buy a pig for a family somewhere in need. You can save up for other things too. You can do honeybees or chicks. You can do a goat. My family did a goat for Christmas, in fact. But right now we're going to try for a pig. I've also got my candle today, which reminds me, Jesus is the light of the world. That's for sure. But today I've got some different things on my altar. I have the Spark Story Bible, and I've got all this delicious stuff. What's that? Yep, it's a strawberry. How about this? An apple. And I've got some oranges and grapefruit and even a big pineapple. Those are all types of fruit. Sometimes we talk about people bearing good fruit. We're going to find out what that means today. Jesus told a parable, a story with a lesson. Jesus told a parable about a fruit tree called a fig tree. Let's find out more about that. The parable of the fig tree. Jesus told this story to remind people that every day is a gift from God that we should use wisely. Once there was a man who had a vineyard. This man loved figs, so he planted a fig tree. Mmm. He couldn't wait to eat the figs from his tree. Every year, the man came to the vineyard to check on his tree. The first year? No figs. The second year? No figs. The third year? No figs. The man told the gardener, I planted this, tree, this fig tree because I love figs. Every year I check, but still no figs. Cut this tree down. But the gardener was smart. Wait one more year, he said. Let's take special care of it and give it one more chance. It'll give you the best figs you have ever tasted. Thanks for helping me read that. I was wondering, Graham, who do you think was like Jesus? The gardener. In the story. Yeah, the gardener. And what did you tell me before? Like, why? He's so wise and stuff. <laughs> He's so wise and stuff. The gardener at the end of the story said, let's wait another year. Jesus wants us to do our best. Jesus wants us to bear good fruit. And Jesus is patient and forgiving. Like the gardener in the story. We don't always do our best, but Jesus is always there waiting and rooting for us to do our best. So. I have a little activity that I want to do, and do you like these? Yeah. I've got some fruit snacks. You might have something like this at home, or maybe you've got an orange that you can make into some orange slices, and the activity is this. We are going to, as we eat each one, name a way that we can bear good food. Fruit. Do you remember that song that we learned from Tori? The one, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. With these we show God's love. So, as we take each one out, ooh, do you like grapes? Yes. What is a way that you can bear good fruit, that you can be your best. Make people laugh. 
make people laugh. I like that one. You can eat it. I'm going to say we can go talk with an elderly neighbor. Have you got another one? Tell somebody a joke. Tell somebody a joke. I'm sensing a theme here. <laughs> I'm going to say donate to a local food shelf. Mm. <laughs> We're having trouble chewing them up fast enough. What do you think? Um, help other people if they need help. Help others. That's a good one. I'm going to say... Go and volunteer at Feed My Starving Children. We've done that before. Yeah. Um, donate to ELCA Good Gifts. Oh, donate to ELCA Good Gifts. What a great idea. I'm going to say, help your teacher with something that they need. Mm, got a few more. You gotta keep bearing good fruit. What are these ones? Um, donate. Donate what? Money. To the homeless. Mm, yes, supporting a homeless shelter is a really good thing to do with your money. Um, we've got. Let's see. What, I think we have. Three more. So we've got to have three more ways to bear good fruit. How about you help prepare a meal for a family who has maybe just had a baby or maybe maybe they're sick and they could use a little extra help? Oh, two left. What's your last way you're going to bear good fruit? <laughs> Um, maybe buy somebody dinner. Yeah, I love that. Or make somebody dinner. Buy somebody dinner? Help mom and dad make dinner? No. <laughs> and let's see, I've got one more. You could write a letter or um, send a text or do a video chat with somebody that you haven't talked to in a while. Maybe a cousin or a grandma or a grandpa. That always makes someone's day. All right, after I chew that one up, will you pray with me, please? Thank you, Jesus, for teaching us that God will always give us another chance. Thank you for grace. Thank you for patience. Thank you for calling us to be the best that we can be. Amen.